Hello, welcome to this weather update. It's 10 o'clock on 26th of June. Uh, and before I get started, we do have a wildfire going on right now at Brendan Byrne State Forest in New Jersey. Another wildfire. And it says crews are working to contain a wildfire in Manchester Township, New Jersey. This is uh, at the Brendan T. Byrne State Forest for a wildfire that has re reached 120 acres in size. And as of 7.30, it is 0% contained. But let's get let's see if we can get a more updated um, NJ Forests Fire Service, and they have a uh, let's see if we have the latest uh, on the Facebook. They are putting all right. Well, they have on Twitter, so let's go to the Twitter here and let's see what the latest is on this because I'm noticing um, all right. So they're able to aid and contain have begun a backfiring aid. All right, so what's the latest here? Uh, they only have the latest is three hours ago was the latest update here. Seven structures are threatened. Uh, we don't have too much information on this. This is Woodland and Manchester Townships uh, in, in uh, it looks like, uh, close to Ocean County here. Uh, so, And I noticed a little bit of a smoke smell here. I don't know if it's just somebody from a barbecue or not, but it could be coming from this forest fire here. And my nose is burning, too, so uh, we may be smelling it here. Not noticing this on the satellite loop at all. Um, it may be being blocked by these cirrus clouds here. Uh, not noting, noting, noticing any smoke on here at all. Very hard to notice anything. These are just cirrus clouds rolling in, uh, which you saw at night here. After uh, plenty of sunshine today, uh, a little more hazy than yesterday, higher humidity, but more of a sea breeze. Uh, we did have a nice sunset there with the cirrus there in the sky there, as you see uh, here. So... Um, Anyway, let's go look at the current conditions outside. Yeah, my nose is burning me, like, really badly. Um, try to make it through the weather update without getting a napkin. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. Looks like we're having a problem here with the uh, weather and hazards data viewer. Well, so it ice slipped 73 degrees. 63 is the dew point. Uh, south, south winds at foot. West of 14 gusting 21. That's what's stirring up all that, uh, the, the smoke. You know, the humidity is high. Here's uh, Brendan Byrne right here. So, Coil Field is reporting 72 with a dew point at 60. So, a little lower dew point over there. And let's see what we got at Lakehurst. 74 degrees with a dew point at 59. South wind at 7. This is a... <coughs> oh. uh, 73 at Matt McGuire Air Force Base with a dew point at 60. South wind at 8. So I'm wondering if we are getting that smoke from the fire. I don't know. I may have to get a tissue. Always an allergy. You see some of these wind gusts in the red, though. You can see we got some wind gusts. 28 mile an hour wind gust over there at Farmingdale. So let's go and look at the highs for the day. And you can see highs a little cooler than yesterday. 86 at high slip. So mid to upper 80s across Long Island. Upper 80s probably in the central and western Nassau here. Still reporting 92 at Carl Place. I don't know. That might be a little high. 87 for a high at uh, Manhasset. So I'm thinking we were in the upper 80s today. 88 at Central Park. 91 for a high at LaGuardia. Only 84 for a high at JFK. And then if we're looking at New Jersey here, probably hotter there. Uh, let's see what we got there. So um, downtown Tom's River 89, but at Miller Park 91, Lakehurst 91. And then along the water, there was a sea breeze even there. You'll notice. So today was definitely not as hot as it was yesterday. Uh, definitely not. Well, uh, um, so it was definitely a lot better than it was uh, yesterday. And that sea breeze really wound up dropping things off again toward the afternoon. Um, if we put this back to the observations, you'll see that. We'll just go look at Farmingdale here. And you'll see that the sea breeze... Um, see here earlier on today. We're generally in the mid eight. They were in the generally mid-80s today. It was a pretty strong breeze uh, from the south-southwest. That kept the sea breeze stronger. The dew points were higher earlier on, and then they started dropping a little bit toward the evening. Dew points 59. So uh, we got to see some lower dew points. Not a bad night out, except for, like I said, I think we might be smelling some smoke, wildfire smoke. And it just got in, so um, that could be why. See temperatures generally in the 70s across in Farmingdale. All right, and we compare that to uh, New Jersey. Let's go to... Lakehurst here. It was a lot hotter there throughout the day. 
Yeah, not quite. No, even there, there was south southeast breeze, so a little bit of a sea breeze there, but it did manage to get up to 91. Uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye on this wildfire. I'll provide you any updates if I have any more information on it. Um, but uh, let's go look at the ma the uh, GFS map for this week. And you will see a cold front comes through tomorrow and high pressure builds in. It brings us a nice week. Uh, and then uh, that high is going to stay with us. But then as we get toward the weekend, you'll see what happens. We get more of that southerly flow there. Uh, that's going to bring us more warmth, humidity, and chances of showers and thunderstorms. And then uh, as we get toward Sunday, though, it, it looks like, again, it's not the whole weekend, just Saturday. And then more dry air builds in for Sunday and gives us a nice July 4th. Um, and so, yeah, pretty decent look toward this week. Let's go into our area here and go to the HRRR now. And we will go in. I know, aren't going over a longer range. I'll probably do that tomorrow night because I'm running a little late and stuff. So um, this is the cold front we have to watch. And I really want to focus on tomorrow's cold front uh, because uh, we'll have to watch for there any severe. Th I don't think there's going to be any severe storms there. Is it gentle? It's not really not a sharp enough V, and it's coming in or the front itself comes through earlier in the day. So I think it's just going to be like scattered showers and maybe some thunderstorms. No real line there, but some of the storms could produce heavy rain, perhaps. Then that moves away, and then we have nice weather by Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, we can look at the amount. This is the HRRR forecast, so of course we will look at a couple of models here as a result. Total accumulated precip, you can see it's going to be spotty. Hopefully they can get some rain over Jersey because um, and where you know the storms could you could see up to three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain, um, half an inch to to an inch of rain. But where they don't hit, you might get as little as a quarter of an inch or less. So you can see it's it's very scattered in nature. Not everybody is going to get a downpour according at least according to the HRRR model. Um, but we will of course look at some other models when it comes to the rain. So let's go to the NAM three which is more impressive. This is the zero Z run. So actually this should give us enough, give us enough for tomorrow. And you can see the zero Z run has a little more of an impressive line on the NAM right around one, two o'clock comes through. Um, and again, it, it doesn't really show anything severe. Uh, we'll have to see what happens here, but it doesn't really show anything severe. Um, and again, it's just spotty in nature. And if we look at the NAM and the total accumulated precept there, uh, well, this only goes out to 18Z. You can see it's got that same scattered nature to it uh, that the uh, HRRR model has as well, which is our other short-range model that we like to use. Um, so let's go look at our back to 0Z, and let me go back to the, t the humidity so you get a chance to look at this front as it comes on through. Uh, so you can see humidity levels high, but not oppressively high, but I think the dew points will tend to rise by morning. And hopefully that will aid, between that and the showers, hopefully that will aid in putting out that wildfire in New Jersey. Because Dew Point's going to get near 70, uh, but that smoke could drift into our area with a southwest wind there. And you can see that real sharp uh, Dew Point. You see that lag. There is a lag between the, the showers and the actual front. There's a disconnect. Uh, and that itself can mean uh, it, will be, uh, it, will be, it will be uncomfortable uh, the that will actually take the energy out of the front, but it also means that it's going to take a little while for the dew points to come down. You can see that westerly flow there setting up. The dew points don't really start dropping until after midnight, so it definitely has slower time in the actual on the actual front there. And then uh, we have nice low dew points on Tuesday. North winds, then sea breezes develop in the afternoon. Uh, let's look at the temperature out forecast on this. So that slow movement leads me to leave tomorrow. It could be a little warm. Uh, definitely, uh, we'll see t highs probably in the low 80s. Um, and then uh, temperatures by the evening drop into the 60s. And then for Tuesday, we'll have highs in the upper 70s to around, eight, probably near normal, upper 70s, low 80s, which is near normal for this time of the year. Now, I do want to look at the GFS and uh, uh, with this front as well. So this is the GFS now with the front, the timing. The timing is similar to the HRRR. So you see, we will be dealing with humidity tomorrow. We're not really going to get relief until Tuesday, and then we'll have much less humidity, and then that low humidity continues Tuesday. We see it tick up a little bit on Wednesday, and then as we get toward Friday, you'll see that subtly flow come up and increase the humidity. But it should be nice weather uh, with low humidity. So let's go and look at the temperature forecast on the GFS now. 
You can see it doesn't really have it getting that warm. I guess there's going to be a good deal of cloud cover. And then for Wednesday, a Tuesday, uh, you'll see upper 70s, low 80s. A little warmer on Wednesday. We're going to see low low 80s, probably low, possibly mid 80s in New Jersey. Then we heat it up a little more on Thursday with mid 80s. And uh, maybe some upper 80s uh, around the city and maybe near 90 in Jersey. And then Friday, that's when things will heat up once again. And you'll see that heat over New Jersey, uh, mid-90s. For, uh, but the southerly flow keeps Long Island in the 80s. So let's now go to the skies. We got that out of the way. So tomorrow, I think we have a good deal of clouds. At least good. This is the GFS, of course. I'll use a higher resolution model. Clearing it out Tuesday. It looks like it's trying to have some clouds linger, possibly some cirrus. We may not get. We may have to wait till Wednesday to get rid of that cirrus to have a clear day. And then uh, for Thursday, we'll have a few clouds. But other than that, looks like plenty of sunshine. All right, for this week. Uh, let me go to the R gem next. So here's the R gem, and uh, you see those clouds there associated with that front. And those clouds start clearing out. By, like I said, after sunset, but I think we're not going to really start clearing those clouds out until that drier air moves. And then for Tuesday, you'll see we have to watch for some cirrus sliding by to the south, but I think we should have a mostly sunny day. And then for Wednesday, that looks like an even better day with fairly clear skies there, so it should be pretty nice. Um, so let's go, and the last thing I'm going to go to is the Storm Prediction Center here. Uh, find that Storm Prediction Center here. Storm Prediction Center. And just look at tomorrow's threat for thunderstorms, day two. No severe. So I don't think we're going to see any severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the Cape levels for tomorrow. And it's just because of that, the, the way this front is moving, it's a slow mover. And uh, the disconnect between the actual front and there's just not enough push to really create a good lift mechanism in the atmosphere to get a large-scale thunderstorm outbreak. But let's go and look at the Capes for tomorrow. Here's 5 a.m. 8 a.m., not very impressive at all. All right, gets a little more impressive at 11. Let's see, 2. All right, there is actually some decent cape right around 2 o'clock. It kind of lingers, too. But you can see how it's lingering. So it it's shows how slow this front is not really moving very fast. And that's an issue, even though there is cape here. And if we look at the lifted index, it's moderate, but nothing terribly impressive. So, you know, it's not really going to be uh, an idea. You know, whatever, you know, I think mainly the thunderstorms develop will have mainly ma mainly be rainmakers more than anything like severe, like wind gusts or shelf clouds or lots of lightning. It's mainly going to be rain uh, that's going to fall on these thunderstorms, which is what we need over New Jersey right now. And hopefully they'll get some uh, because uh, this is the second wildfire in, in a week in New Jersey. So um, that is going to wrap up this weather update. Have a good night.